Product Masters in Microsoft Dynamics IX 2012 are defined in a slightly different manner than regular products are. You can define Product Masters either from the pro All Products and Product Masters list page or the sublist page called Product Masters. A Product Master in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 is the notion of a product that only can be sold or purchased in variations. In order to determine the variations, Product Masters must have one or more product dimensions that distinguishes these variations. Furthermore, a vital information for a Product Master is the way that you configure these variations. From the Product Masters list page, you select New in order to create a new Product Master. You can create Product Masters either for products of type Item or Service. Next choice is already a given since we are creating these Product Masters from a filtered list page. Just like with a regular product, you enter the most needed information in the dialog. As briefly mentioned, all product masters must have one or more active product dimensions. Which product dimension is active is determined by a product dimension group. And in the dialog, you specify which product dimension group you want to base these variations on. For this example, we're going to work with all three available dimensions in Microsoft Dynamics AX, which are color, size, and configuration dimensions. You now need to determine how these variations are going to be created. You have the choice between four different ways of configuring variations. The predefined variant option allows you to create your variant lists manually. So you will know of all the variations possible for your product master. You can create them when you go along or you have them up front. In order to minimize the list of variations available, you can choose to only create the variations based on customer requirements and thereby you use the dimension based configurator. This would allow a sales representative to take an order and create a new variation if needed in the system. If a variation has already been created, the system will prevent creating a new one with the exact same combinations unless you specify it should. Rule-based configuration is an option available for Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 and earlier customers and was previously referred to as the Product Builder Configurator. This option will not be available for new customers in the future. The Constraint Based Configurator is a new configurator shipped with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 and it allows you to use product attributes instead of product dimensions to create the variations. Like the dimension based configurator, it is based on input given in the sales order process. If you select to choose constraint based configurator, you would still have to have one active product dimension in an associated product dimension group, and that is the option the dimension configuration. Since configuration ID would be the one that will clearly show the difference of the variance for this product master. For this demonstration, we will pick the predefined variation list. Since we chose a product master with all three available product dimensions active, next step is to go up and define the actual product dimensions. From this form, you can create all dimensions. In order to speed up things, we have cheated a bit and already created the other sizes and colors for this product master. Now with all these dimensions, you have a variety of combinations now available. Since we chose predefined variations, 
as the way to configure this product master, we will now go up to the variants and try to create the ones that should be available. There are two ways of creating these variations, either the traditional way of just selecting new and then picking the actual dimensions, or you can select the variant suggestions action. This action will already trigger the system to figure out what kind of combinations are available based on the dimensions you've keyed in and you can select all or parts of these variations that should be available. Next, you can select to create them and the system will create them up front. For each variation you can describe it further and you can add a specific product image so that you can, in this case, illustrate that the plasma television model 02 can be sold in either silver or in black. You can apply specific translations as well to the name and the description on the variation. By working with predefined variation, it allows you in the release phase to select specifically which variations should be available to which legal entity. Do keep in mind that if you are in intercompany scenarios, if you need to trade uh, variations, both variations, oh, that variation should be present in both legal entities. We will be releasing some of the variations along with the product master. As you can see, after I've done an F5 update, you have the legal entities that have this product master available, and you would be able to see what kind of variations are actually available for this product master. This fact box does not filter based on the legal entity. It is to show you the full list of variations available for a product master. As you can see, the product number itself is a concatenated ID that will explain to you the IDs of the actual dimension and thereby make up the variation ID. I have now created the product master based on the predefined variant configuration technology option. If I'd had to change the configuration option, I would have to delete the product and redo it again. And the reason for this is there are some very stringent constraints in the data model that you cannot switch the configuration technology type. When do you choose to use either the predefined variation option or the dimension based configurator is often based on the fact that the dimension based configurator will only result in actual configurations that you have sold and thereby minimize the list of variations stored on your product master. To learn more about configurable products, please refer to the how-to videos specifically for the product configurator.